Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the change specialist, Dr. Mark DeVolder. Do you feel the energy here? Woo! I love change. In fact, last year, get this, I changed my name to Grandpa. But do you know what makes change most difficult? It's the transition. The server came over, brought me a menu. I looked at the menu and I thought, what do you recommend? He said, going to another restaurant. <laughs> what is your definition for the word liminality? Well, actually, it's liminality. You've mispronounced it. And that means putting flavor in your Mexican beer with your lime. <laughs> <laughs> Change is constant, unpredictable, relentless. Change is here to stay. Do you know what happens oftentimes in transitions? We open the door, we look into the future, and we stand right in the middle. We're not able to go forward, and we're not able to go back. We get stuck. One year and 15 days ago, I was in Rotterdam. I was speaking at a conference for Shell Oil. I flew 16 hours to get there, arrived late at night. I was absolutely exhausted, so I went to bed. 7 a.m., my alarm went off. I got out of bed, groggy, jet-lagged. I walked into the washroom. And as I walked in, my toe caught that step. Immediately, I fell forward. My head slammed into the wall. I heard my neck crack. And I fell in between the bathtub and the toilet. And I lay there for a moment, stunned. And I thought to myself, that crack didn't sound good. And I thought, I just want to rest, compose myself, and I lay there on the floor, and as I started to get up, I realized I was completely paralyzed from the neck down. I couldn't move. I began to panic, and, and I, I, I called out. I, I, I said, uh, help, help, help. I screamed. No one heard me. As I lay there on the ground, I remembered something my mother said to me. Maybe your mother said this too. She said to me, Mark, always put on clean underwear. <laughs> because you never know. I wish I would have had underwear on <laughs> as I lay there. And then my life flashed before me. And I began to think about all of the things that would happen to me as a quadriplegic. I thought, I will never be able to hold my grandchildren. I won't be able to, to walk around as a normal person. My speaking career is over. I couldn't get up on the stage. I wouldn't even be able to carry my luggage. And I lay there. And I lay there for three hours. Finally, when I didn't show up to speak at the conference, someone came and found me on the bathroom floor. I was taken to Rotterdam Hospital for eight days. This was taken on day eight. I'm glad I look a little bit better. But do you know what was the hardest thing for me? The hardest thing for me was lying on that floor and willing my arms and legs to move and not being able to do anything. And I want to say to you this morning, every person here 
has the challenge of being able to respond to change. And the people that you work with, are you and will you be mobilized or paralyzed? Three days before I get to the conference, I get a phone call from the organizer. The organizer said, Mark, um, you're never going to believe what happened. What? What? She said, the governor made a big change. Tell me. Governor cut $1.4 billion from the budget. The group that you're speaking to, 300 of them, they've all lost thousands of dollars from their annual salary. Good luck. <laughs> Three days later, I'm standing in front of this group, Wisconsin Rural Water Association. I have never seen so many John Deere caps and overalls in my life <laughs> with their arms crossed across their chest like this. They were hopping mad. And I get to this point in my presentation and I tell them, I'm not as flippantly as I'm telling you today, I, I we're kind of playing a little bit here, but I wasn't playing with them. I said to them very seriously, I said, you know, folks, the work is to accept and let go. And if you don't accept and let go, you will get stuck. And no sooner had I said those words than a guy in the back stands up. And he stands up in, 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 a, in a violent way. He stands up so quickly that, and it, that his, his chair falls down. And all 300 people go, <gasps> and look behind. And one woman goes, <gasps> <laughs> And I thought, you know what I thought? This can't be good. <laughs> he points at me and he says, you! Yeah, you! Do you have any idea what's just been done to us? I started to say, well, actually, I do, but I went, no, no, don't talk to me, talk to me. He said, the governor, that son of a, and he finished the phrase. <laughs> he says, the governor cut $1.4 billion from our budget, and now I make $10,000 less a year. And you're telling me <laughs> no, you're telling us that we have to accept this and let go? Hell no, I'm not going to accept this. I will never accept this. I will never let go. And he sat down, and the room burst into applause. And then everyone turned and looked at me. <laughs> Bad guy bad guy, telling them what they had to do. Do you know what? I think he reacted to something. Do you know what I think he reacted to? Because I've done this many times. And what people tend to react to is that first word, accept. Do you know what accept doesn't mean? Accept does not mean, get this, agree. Doesn't mean agree. Doesn't mean condone doesn't mean you like it. It means it happened. It happened. My name is Bob Bryan. I'm the Senior Vice President of the Lifelong Health Division at Riverside Health System, and I've just uh, been inspired listening to Dr. Mark DeVolder talk about change management. There was tears, there was laughter, and there was lots of engagement. So I'm really excited to see our follow-up sessions and how people have applied all of the wonderful things that Mark taught us. All around the world and on four continents, Dr. Mark DeVolder prepares people for change. Best-selling author and winner of the prestigious Top 5 Speaker Award, Mark enables teams to navigate change, build high levels of trust, and become fully engaged. Mark DeVolder's client list is impressive. NASA, Motion Industries, Siemens, BP Oil, Price Waterhouse Coopers. Whether he's speaking to 60 or 6,000, you can count on Dr. Mark DeVolder for cutting edge content, entertaining audience interaction, valuable takeaways, all illustrated by unstoppable humor and memorable stories. 
Dr. DeVolder has engaged in delighted audiences from New York to Dubai, from Toronto to Jamaica, and from Bogota to Kuala Lumpur. Bookmark DeVolder today and see the profound connection between highly motivated employees and increased productivity and profitability. Get change ready. Get engaged with the change specialist, Dr. Mark DeVolder.